Can you hear me now? Yes. Yes, we can hear you. Okay. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, everyone. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. <laughs> Around the world. Well, uh, welcome to, maybe we should call this, uh, not the Corona virus program, but the Karuna uh, unvirus program. <laughs> so it's nice. Thank you all for coming together in this way. Um, I'm sorry it didn't work uh, the, other, the other night. Uh, and it seems the reason it didn't work uh, was because here in India at that time of day, uh, namely evening time, uh, everyone is online. It's, so it was very slow. It was too much, too much slow uh, for any communication. Uh, this time of day, uh, here in India, it's now 3.30 in the afternoon, 3.33. Uh, everyone is sleeping, I think. Everyone is, uh, is uh, having a nap. <laughs> and so the internet is uh, working faster. Actually, I should test the speed, though. It would be interesting to see. Um, so, of course, let's see. Here it is. Uh, I'm just testing the speed of the internet. Well, it's not so fast. <laughs> um, okay. Download one point. Oh, it's very slow. All right. So much for my theory. <laughs> it's actually very slow. 0 0.2 down upload. But maybe this is okay. Uh, maybe for Zoom. Uh, hopefully it's not a problem. So far we're doing okay. Yes, you're nodding. <laughs> okay. Um, so the world is, so to say, on lockdown, mostly, uh, including here in India. Uh, maybe I just tell a little my story of how I ended up where I am here at Nilachal Vedic Village. Uh, it was January, this last January, and we were getting the news from China. And I was watching closely because I was planning to to go to China in uh, March, March, April. But it became clear, uh, I don't remember, I guess it was in February I decided uh, that it's not going to be practical for me to go. So I canceled that plan and decided instead to go back to Europe uh, and I decided I will go to Ukraine, to Kiev, and like that, uh, because devotees were asking me to come, and one devotee was offering to arrange some programs at universities. So I booked a flight uh, to Kiev with Air Arabia, <laughs> and that flight was scheduled for, I think, 17th of March from Mumbai. Uh -huh. And then I proceeded uh, after Mayapur to do my uh, cow care book promotion, and I did for one week in uh, in Delhi, 
And then I came to Mumbai and Pune uh, for two weeks. And all of this was really very successful, I must say. Uh, meanwhile, we were hearing more and more about uh, the trouble with this virus. So I was watching, watching, and I was starting with, and then we're seeing it's coming to Europe. And oh, now it's in Italy spreading so much. And oh, it's everywhere. <laughs> it's all over. Uh, and it's coming also to, to Ukraine. And so then I thought, all right, I will postpone my flight to Ukraine. So I rebooked it uh, for April 14th. And then about one or two days after I made the change in my booking, I got a message from Air Arabia saying, your flight is canceled. If you have any questions, here's a phone number. <laughs> so, okay. I understood that's not going to happen. And then I started thinking, oh, maybe I need to stay here in India. Where is a good place to stay? Uh, and the first place I thought of was this uh, farm where I am now called Nilachal Vedic Village. Uh, devotees around just call it Talasari because that's the, the town, uh, which small town which is next to, very close to the farm, Talasari. Um, so I was planning to come here and then uh, I was speaking with a one of the leaders of Govardhan Eco Village on the phone. And I told him I'm planning to go to Talasari and he said, oh, but you should come here to Govardhan Eco Village uh, before you go to Talasari because we're going to be closing down uh, to anyone, uh, any outsiders on April 1st. So you should come here now. This was uh, going toward the middle of, of, of March. You should come here now and then you can go to Tomasi. Okay, so I started making a plan to do that. And then the next day came a message, oh no, you cannot come to Govardhan Eco Village. The police have given us a message that all foreigners uh, must leave and no foreigners are allowed to stay. Okay, so then I made arrangement to come here to Talasari. Devotees were very helpful. They, uh, first of all, they sent message from here that um, I'm welcome to come. And then the devotees in uh, Iskand Juhu, which is, you can say, the mother temple, uh, the mother temple of the Talasri farm, uh, were also very helpful. They arranged for a driver uh, to drive me here from Mumbai. So I came here to Talasri, and as soon as I arrived, The um, temple president, president here, Raj Prem Prabhu, welcomed me. And he said, actually, uh, the police were just here this morning. <laughs> and they informed us that uh, no foreigners are allowed to be here. <laughs> so what to do? So he said, we'll try to arrange something. Meanwhile, please, uh, you go and stay in our guest house. Uh, the, the guest house for the farm is, is not directly on the farm. It's about one kilometer away. Um, 
So they drove me to the guest house. And as we are arriving at the guest house, we see quite a big crowd of people standing around in front of the guest house on the road. And they're just kind of all standing around and we don't know what's going on. And then we find out that there's been an accident and that someone was, someone was hurt. And they were waiting for an ambulance. Anyway, we went into the guest house and I settled in. Uh, maybe 20 minutes later, we heard the ambulance siren. And then we heard later that uh, someone had been killed by a young boy riding a motorcycle. So that was very sad. And I would say we were feeling it's kind of inauspicious uh, for my arrival. But anyway, so they kept me in the guest house for two days uh, just by myself. I was the only person there other than the Chokidar. <laughs> nice guest house, very clean, uh, no internet connection. So I was quite isolated. I was, I was in quarantine <laughs> for two days. And then they, the devotees came and said, okay, uh, you can come back to the farm. So they brought me and my things back to the farm. And they said, you can stay with us. Um, just don't go outside of the farm. And we won't tell the police that you are here. <laughs> and I said, okay, but uh, you do have these workers coming uh, every day from the village. They have farm workers helping uh, with the farming and with the cows. So they're going to see me. And, um, you know, maybe they will report me uh, to the police. And the temple president said, ah, oh, no, don't worry about that. They won't, they won't bother. <laughs> so, so here I am. Um, uh, they put me up and they gave me a, a room to myself in the Brahmachari Ashram, uh, which is, uh, it has six rooms, so they all kind of crowded into the other rooms. And uh, that was for a few days. And then they said, actually, now you can uh, go and stay in uh, the Kutir. There's... There's a single house called uh, Nila Chalkutir, a nice, uh, nice little house, one room uh, with its own bathroom, like that. Okay, so I moved there. I was there for a few days. And it was very nice, but it was actually hot, hotter inside there than in the Brahmachari Ashram. So a few days later, they came and they said, actually, uh, Devaki Nandan Prabhu is coming uh, with some more devotees from Juhu. And when he comes, he always stays in this, uh, this kutir. This is basically his kutir. Devaki Nandan is regional secretary. Maybe he's GBC now, I'm not sure. Um, okay, so back to the Brahmachari Ashram. And here I am again in the Brahmachari Ashram. <laughs> but it, it's very nice. It's, uh, I think in, in many ways, I am, I'm, I am blessed. Uh, we have, mm, um, it's very beautiful farm. A lot of, uh, a lot of vegetable growing here. Uh, fruits, fruit trees, they have, about two, 
thousand papaya trees. Uh, and many mango trees, I don't know how many, but a lot of mango trees. I'm, I must say I'm now kind of looking forward. I always heard that uh, mango season in India is in May. And I've never been in India in May. Now it's starting to look like I'm going to be here in May. <laughs> so yesterday already I got a big, they gave me a big uh, container of um, green mango juice. And I must say green mango juice is really nice. Yes, and vegetables and as I've mentioned, so many cows. Uh, something over a hundred cows and bulls here, about 30 uh, milk, milking cows. And they are all uh, gear cows. Gear is uh, a particular breed, I think originating from Gujarat. And gear cows are very mild mannered and very friendly. They're just uh, just very kind of mellow, mellow cows. <laughs> uh, so it's, it's nice to see them every day and say hello to them and uh, like that. And then we have Lord Jagannath here, Jagannath Subhadra Baladev. Uh-oh. Uh, I just got a message, my computer is overheating. I'm gonna have to turn off a bunch of stuff here. Let's see. And by the way, if you hear a humming sound in the background here, it's because I have two fans on, two fans running uh, to keep some semblance of coolness. Okay, let's see if that helps. Yeah, we have Lord Jagannath here, and uh, I don't know if Rasadari Hari is here with us today, but um, he gave us a little uh, yes, he is. He gave us a little uh, astrological analysis of what's going on. <laughs> and he said the best thing we can do is to worship Lord Jagannath. We can worship Lord Jagannath and said it's also very important that we worship Guru and that's serve Guru. And he also mentioned Vamana Day, right, Rasvadadi? We should worship Vamana Day. I don't know why Vamana Day, but why not? Oh, and I was going to mention also in relation to uh, astrology. Not that I'm much into astrology, but a few days ago, uh, I was in the Bhajan Kutir. I was just lying down to take a little nap. 
And suddenly I hear so many devotees yelling, like something is going on. So I jump up and I look out the window and they see me from the window and they point down to below the window, right next to the house, there's this big cobra snake. And it's moving rather quickly, uh, just right along the south side of the house. And it goes to the back of the house and disappears uh, at the border of the farm. The, one, of the, one of the fences uh, of the property is just behind that house. And he just disappears. So first I thought, whoa, this does not look auspicious. This <laughs> looks like a very inauspicious sign. But then I thought, well, on the other hand, maybe it's auspicious because uh, the, the snake was leaving the farm. <laughs> so I sent a prashna to Rasandari and uh, also to Venu Gopal. Uh, is it's not uh, yeah, husband of Rajali Lavati. And uh, so they both did prashna, and the conclusion was yes, it's auspicious, it's a good thing. So good signs. So, <laughs> so far, so good. <laughs> Here we are. Um, everyone has been sent, not everyone, some people uh, have been sending me links to various um, YouTube videos explaining uh, all sorts of things about this. Uh, coronavirus, including uh, some uh, conspiracy theories. So I thought uh, this is interesting because, as some of you know, I tend to be a bit skeptical of conspiracy theories. Um, Yesterday, Sarvatma sent me a link to an interview with one medical doctor. And uh, this, I thought, is what he was saying is making a lot of sense. And mainly what he was saying is that our best defense against this virus or any virus uh, is our own immune system. And the best way to strengthen our immune systems in particular are to uh, take sufficient amounts of three vitamins, vitamin C, vitamin D, and vitamin A. And he was emphasizing this quite a lot um, in, in so many ways. So I've been going out in the sun to get vitamin D. <laughs> and uh, I should take some vitamin C and A. Anyway. So these are some things. Um, oh, before I forget, uh, I was going to share a link. This has nothing to do. Uh -oh. oh, yeah, Kravat. Oh, that's all right. Um, I was, let's see if I can do this. Chat. Yes. Uh, type message here, okay, to share a link. Mm. Yeah, still have it here. 
Yes, here it is. Uh, this has nothing to do with coronavirus. Uh, this is a short presentation I gave uh, last year in Mayapur um, in the education conference. My topic was education, not indoctrination. And uh, the education ministry has just posted this link uh, to that presentation. So if you like, you can read that. Uh, what I'm doing while I'm here, uh, aside from chanting Hare Krishna, is I've been writing. And I started a new writing project uh, inspired by my god brother Devamrita Swami Maharaj, whom I met in Mayapur some weeks ago. And he attended my presentation uh, on uh, called Write and Be Happy. I was uh, giving a presentation to encourage devotees to write for Krishna. And uh, at the end, he uh, came to me and invited me to write, <laughs> to write a book uh, on the subject of deity worship. Oh no, not again. I was thinking, yes, again. But specifically what he wants is a book uh, which can be for the general public and which addresses uh, especially the question of whether our temple worship of Krishna is not uh, idolatry. Uh, I wrote an article several years ago, um, and the title of the article was uh, Are Vaishnavas Idolaters? Actually, this was an adaptation of chapter four of my master's thesis. So now I'm taking that and possibly other things later, but I'm taking the contents of that article and I'm reworking it as a kind of dialogue. And the dialogue is, yeah, it's an imaginary dialogue, but the idea is uh, the, 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 the flavor should be something like uh, perfect questions, perfect answers. Uh, which, of course, was a real dialogue between Srila Prabhupada and uh, Brahma Tirtha Prabhu, who is, in that book, he's Bob Cohen, because that was his name at the time. Brahma Tirtha is a very good friend of mine. Um, so I might read a little this, of this to you, but I think right now I want to stop uh, and ask if any of you want to say something or if you have a question. In which case, uh, yes, you could turn on your microphone and and your video. <laughs> I don't know how we can organize this, but uh, maybe Odarya Chandrika, do you have an idea? Yes, yes. Anyone who wants to say, ask something, uh, just unmute yourself and turn on video and that's it. And then when you will finish the question, just uh, unmute yourself again, please. Huh? <laughs> Good 
мы сами... So looks like there's no questions, Guru Maharaj, or oh or please unmute yourself if you want. okay. Um is there any problem to unmute yourself or? No, the problem was that everyone unmuted themselves all at once. Oh, okay. So we're trying to figure out how to organize. In the message, in I the have chat, one question. Somebody can write. Jalangi Devidasi oh. has a question. Ah. Hare Krishna, Jalangi. Hare Krishna. I wanted to ask Guru Maharaj, in the moment of death, who do we meet? Accordingly, I, there are like statements of the Shastra, Vishnu Dutas can come, come, or do we leave the body with Guru on the side, or it is according to our desire, uh, what we are thinking? what we are desiring to, to see at the moment of death, for both Guru and Vishnu Dutas, or Krishna is coming. For all of the above. <laughs> all that Krishna says in the Gita is that wherever our consciousness is at that time, that will determine uh, our next destination. That's, that's all that Krishna says uh, in the Gita, to my knowledge. Uh, and yeah, then we get different stories. Uh, we, we have, of course, uh, from the Bhagavatam, we have uh, uh, Ajamil, the first, the Yamadutas and, and the Vishnadutas. Uh, that's a very special case, we may say. Uh, the Vishnu Duda seem to come specifically to defend uh, Ajamil from the Yamadudas. So because uh, it was for the Yamadutas, it was clear that he should come with them. For the Vishnu Dudas, it was clear that they should not come with the Yamadutas, so they had to defend him. But uh, then Ajamil had some more purification uh, to, to take before he would actually go back to Godhead. Um, I can only say I don't have memory myself <laughs> of this experience from the last death quite frankly, uh, so I cannot tell you from experience. I, my understanding is there's any number of possibilities because mm, nothing, is, nothing is mechanical, nothing is automatic. Uh, certainly Krishna is with us as devotees, but Krishna may appear to us in, in so many different ways. And uh, we, cannot, we cannot limit Krishna. We cannot say, no, Krishna, you have to appear this way. Oh, where are the Vishnu Dudas? They're supposed to appear. <laughs> um, this, this is the great unknown. As, as you all know, or as most of you know, uh, just a few weeks ago, uh, very sadly, uh, Induleka Devi uh, departed uh, from Sridhar Mayapur. Uh, 
uh, with terminal cancer. I say sadly, and at the same time, uh, it was glorious. Her departure uh, was in the Holy Dome. She was surrounded by devotees singing um, the holy names. Uh, and as I understand, she was quite conscious, practically. Uh, one, uh, at one moment, just uh, some hours before she left, it was reported to me, uh, she commented, she said, uh, oh, she said, oh, Krishna is not cheap. Krishna is not cheap. In other words, in her, in her agony of her body, just uh, disintegrating, becoming completely dysfunctional. Uh, she was actually Krishna conscious, but her consciousness was, oh, Krishna makes it, it's not an easy thing. Krishna is not cheap. So we want to prepare as best we can. And we depend on Krishna. <laughs> and it's not that we spend all our time thinking about, you know, how is the end going to be? Uh, we also know Krishna says, uh, it's said that um, Krishna even if we don't remember Krishna, Krishna will remember us because we are serving him in this life sincerely, Krishna will remember. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Guru Maharaj, Hare Krishna. Um, Hare Bo. Hare Krishna from Radhadesh. Yes. Hare Krishna. Um, Anupama has a question. <laughs> Actually, I, I was planning to ask you the similar question as, as Jalangi, but I thought maybe that's not a, the, the <laughs> best question to ask. But just uh, since I'm currently teaching Bhagavad Gita, uh, middle six chapters online, is Bhakti Shastri program. So students do ask these questions. And I yes. find that I don't know anything about this. And they point different purports uh, and the lectures from Shala Prabhupada. And Shala Prabhupada speaks that actually dying is just like a dream, which lasts seven months, up to seven months, before soul oh. another body. But um, so I was wondering, do we have any scriptural references? Um, because often I hear it's not important. Like it's not important that we come from mm. spiritual world or Mahavishnu, but I guess it will help to reduce fear from death and mm. yeah, to have more knowledge. Because I remember when I studied uh, Christianity, that was the only exam I failed, eschatology, because nothing made sense to me, this after <laughs> Christian version of afterlife. But I can't, I, but basically I don't know any, I don't know much about our version, so I was wondering other which scriptures or sources to consult in order to get these answers? Uh, the only thing I know is there's a lot about death in the Garuda Purana. Garuda Purana. Now, many, many, many years ago, I was reading a translation of part of the Garuda Purana. And all I remember is um, one verse after another after another uh, describing what sort of body one gets if one does this particular sinful activity or that particular sinful activity. And um, the one of those which I remember is that if, I'm not sure, even sure I got this right, I think it was saying if you, if we steal grains, like wheat or corn or something, then our next life we will be a peacock. <laughs> so, so it's, that's part of what's in the Garuda Purana. <laughs> um, 
There is also some information, I've never spent time with this, but I know there is some information in the later part of Vedanta Sutra. Uh, it may be either in the third or the fourth of, of the four uh, divisions, the four parts or chapters of Vedanta Sutra. There's, uh, I believe there's some discussion about this, specifically uh, the transition. How does the soul transit? Uh, what is what is what? Are, what are the mechanics, the dynamics, and so on? Uh, beyond that, I would just refer to you. You could write uh, if you can get him to write. Back, he's very busy, but uh, Hari Parshad Prabhu uh, is a devotee in Mumbai. Uh, I call him a walking encyclopedia of Vedic literature. Uh-oh, my connection is unstable. Just got a message. Um, yeah, I think he could probably give good direction. Uh, there may also have been secondary studies of this. I haven't looked myself, um, but to do some digging. Uh, I'm just now again testing uh, the internet speed and it is very slow. Are you still hearing me? Yeah, we can hear you, but the voice is a little bit breaking, so. And it's okay. Breaking, it's okay, yeah. still okay. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's about all I can say on that. I'm sorry. That's an interesting subject. It would be good for someone to really uh, dig into this and find out what what is there? What I suspect you're going to find, though, is, again, like you said about Christian eschatology, I, I'm a little worried you may find similar inconsistencies. <laughs> if you really go through the whole, uh, the whole range of Vedic post literature. Um, but uh, it would be an interesting study. Maybe we can get some. Uh, what when we get a master's degree program going at Bhaktivedanta College, that can be a, a research project for someone. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> yeah. So Bhaktivedanta College, Kijai. Now you're all, now you're completely online, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, we will have, yeah, we had to cancel our yoga course and to postpone it to October oh. and we will see what will happen with the kitten course. So we are lucky to have online education as well. Yeah, now it's uh, maybe kind of saving, saving you. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, we, I have. There are 34 students in our Bhakti Shastri class, so... Wow, that's a very good number, huh? Okay. Anyone else? Anything? Everyone is tongue-tied. <laughs> if anyone wants to tell, share uh, with the rest of us what you're doing, uh, you're welcome also to do that. How are we, how are we celebrate, tomorrow is Easter. How are we celebrating Easter? 
Uh, Igor Maharaj, uh, uh, Igor Matičić is asking, Hare Krishna Maharaj, is your presentation you referred to write and be happy available to listen to? Or can you kindly give us a summary for us? Indranuja Das and Jiva Maya uh -huh. Oh yeah, I see this. Um, I, I, have, I have a PowerPoint uh, presentation uh, which I could dig out and I suppose I could share it. Um, it's a fairly simple presentation. Uh, the way these presentations work, uh, this was the ISKCON Leaders Sangha, uh, which happens once every, uh, once every two years. And um, for several weeks in advance before this conference, they invite proposals for presentations. Uh, and then they, they have a committee that selects uh, presentations that they think are most relevant for devotees. So altogether, there were some 70, 70 presentations, one hour long presentations uh, by, um, yeah, 70 different devotees. And then they had a, a scheduling system where um, each presenter would present for one hour a day. Uh, and then on the next day, again, the same presentation for a different audience, um, possibly also at a different time and possibly at a different venue. And then again, a third time, some were um, more than three. In my case, I was scheduled for three, three times the presentation. So it was just a one hour uh, presentation. One hour is not, not a whole lot of time. Uh, it goes rather quickly when you have uh, a subject like this. Um, but essentially, I'm just calling devotees' attention to Srila Prabhupada's instruction. Uh, I quote uh, him a few uh, things that Prabhupada said, especially in letters. Uh, for example, he said, I want all of my devotees to write. And especially, uh, all of my disciples, all of the, uh, yeah. In particular, he wanted devotees to write for his magazine, Back to Godhead. Uh, of course, now there's so many different venues for writing, especially now on the internet. Uh, and as some of you know, I've been trying to encourage writing. We've done this. Uh, we did these uh, Krishna Smarana, Rama Smarana, Gora Smarana books, and uh, we've also done a first canto uh, uh, reflections book, which is still not published. Um, and uh, we're starting up with canto two. So anyone who's interested, uh, I have written also guidelines for how to write something, uh, a reflection on Canto 2. I'm, this time I'm also reaching out to certain specific devotees who I know are uh, experienced writers uh, and trying to encourage them to contribute something. Um, but everyone is encouraged. So yeah, I suppose we could make this PowerPoint uh, available. Uh, 
Maharaj, uh, super be here. Uh, yeah, I, will, I attended your class. Yeah, Hare Krishna Maharaj. I uh, attended your class and I think I have uh, I have recorded your class. I don't know the voice quality, but uh, I will oh. share it in the group. Yes, I'll do okay. that. Okay, yes. thank you. Yes. <laughs> this, by the way, is uh, Sugopi Tunga Vidya Mataji uh, in De not Delhi, <laughs> in Gurgaon or Gurugram, uh, we got to know her, what, two years ago? Uh, yeah. Yes. She has I come on our Yatra. Uh, we have Yatra in Navadip. <laughs> like that. You are studying now, um, uh, what is it called? What is the course you're doing now online? Yeah, it's from University of Madras. It's uh, yogic um, uh, principles and uh, naturopathy. So I just got admitted, uh -huh. but uh, somehow, like because of lockdown, I have to attend some practical classes there. So let's uh -huh. hope. And I'm quite uh, fascinated by naturopathy. Always like uh, it's a good way of yeah. healing in a natural way with the nature yeah that's mm. how long does the course go this is a one year course this is postgraduate diploma course so uh, -huh. uh yeah like uh, i don't uh -huh. know how much like it's not much yeah. like not deep into naturopathy but somehow something is better than nothing i believe yeah, yeah it's an introduction yes. yeah very good Hare Krishna Maharaj, Brihaspati from Poland here. Oh, Brihaspati, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Maharaj, I was asked to have you inform. I'm not turning on my camera because I'm translating this meeting online also for the devotees yeah. in Poland. So it's oh, being transmitted okay. online on Facebook right now for the Polish devotees. And uh, I just, okay. uh, was uh, asked if any of the devotees have some questions. So my father, Sri Prabhu has ask me to inform you that we are doing a 24 hour kirtan activity uh, this weekend oh in, very good as as easter and as uh, protecting uh, kavacha let's say uh -huh. idea for the vaishnavas and i also <laughs> know that against yes also, uh, Emilia informed me that some of our friends, which are not devotees yet even, or not chanting devotees, also joined the activity and they are also in it and they will be chanting for one hour. And the idea is that the devotees, they, they book a time during which they will be doing some bhajan or chanting and there is a 24-hour uh -huh like a list of devotees, schedule, schedule of yeah. Vaishnavas in different parts of Poland who will be doing some kirtans. And the idea is to have it running for 24 hours. Oh, very good. That sounds like a very, very good idea. Um, I was, for a moment, I was forgetting that we're all in different places and I was going to ask, oh, so where is this 24 hour kirtan going to happen? Is it going to happen at the Warsaw Temple or at, <laughs> at uh, Nushantipur? But then I immediately realized, no, it's happening online. Are you using uh, Facebook for this? Uh, no, Maharaj is not like online for us to see each other, but it's more like a schedule that the devotees, they declare that from, let's say, 11.30 till 12, they are doing bhajan at their home. And they oh, are I see. to just focus on the Oh, channel. I see. So it's, it's not for people to connect and tune in, just to know that it's happening. Not this time, maybe the next time it will. Maybe next time, yeah. Okay. Yeah, anyway, that's also nice. Yes, I think anyway, Poland needs more kirtan. <laughs> Not just Poland, but yeah. So, thank you.
Okay, now I'm also seeing Ramananda Gopal and Nandi Muki and Narahari Mataji Haribo. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Your, your camera is your camera is quite blurry, but I can see I can recognize it's okay. We we're sitting outside because we have a good internet reception and we can sit together. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we, would, we would like to make an announcement for the devotees because we, since last Ekadasi, we do uh, the singer Kavacha Homa every day at six uh. o'clock, and uh, it's it's on transmitted on YouTube live, so everybody can join in and quite some. Oh. some devotees all around the world, they using this opportunity we have every day about 80 people joining in, clicking in. Oh. And on Saturdays, uh, especially also today, we make a, a big Nishinga Homa, like we always do at seven o'clock Central European timing. And um, mm -hmm. yeah, we do the usual Nishinga Homa and Nishinga Kavacha Homa on top of it. And we were request, not, not actually requested Goranga Prabhu from the Eco Village, the leader. We um, yes. donate 108 euros for the singer Dev for the protection of Chopati, the Eco Village, and uh, Adhanath Swami Maharaj. And so we offered to um, to do to to, spot, or to 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 dedicate this Saturday Homa for this project. So whoever wanna mm. join in. We find us on YouTube, simhachalam.de. Yeah, we can be part of it, whoever wants. Okay. Very good, thank you. That's good. This reminds me, um, Srila Prabhupada mentioned, I don't know, it was a conversation or a lecture, that uh, when he was a very small child, there was a uh, terrible sickness epidemic in Calcutta. I think it was a plague. And the Vaishnavas uh, went around the city doing, doing Sankirtan. And because of that, he says, uh, the Sankirtan stopped, stopped the plague. <laughs> So yeah, the more the more sankirtan we do, the better. Even if we're doing it in our closed up rooms, closed up uh, apartments or whatever. Hare Krishna Maharaj, I just got the information that the idea is supposed to be extended if possible to a week or more and to the whole world. So if anyone wants to join then uh -huh. Oh, okay. So, how does one join? Which I guess one should contact Madai Jivana Prabhu, who is doing a Google Doc uh, schedule, and he's writing uh -huh. in who and where is doing the kirtan, and what time and what day. Uh -huh. That will be the easiest. And while the conversation continues, I will try to get some link or some contact and I will paste it in the chat for the devotees. Okay, very good. Thank you. Now, now I'm just discovering that I can sort of move uh, this uh, so I can see who all is here. Um, now, oh, I'm seeing in Sweden, Hare Krishna, <laughs> we have, um, now I'm forgetting your name, Prahlad. Prahlad. Uh, 
Prahlad, Prahlad. We, you just got a new name and I forgot. Prahlad. Prahlad Palaka. Huh? Prahlad Palaka. Prahlad Palaka. That's right. Okay. <laughs> And Sri Prada, Hare Krishna, how are you? <laughs> we are good, Maharaj. Thank you very much. <laughs> Did you finish your, you were doing a course. Did you finish it? I, I am writing my master thesis right now. Okay. A religious dialogue. Right. How far along are you? We have still about two months left. Okay. For working. Well, and now you have extra time to work yes. on it, right? Yes. <laughs> it's good. Are devotees assembling in the temple? For the program, morning program. There? Only morning yes. program, evening program, a few who are in good health and like that. We are also a little ah. bit careful. We don't. Yeah. Yeah, they do okay. a lot of palaka and a few they are training oxen and like that so there is some we have sundays harinam outside and like that so something little is happening but we try to balance <laughs> okay Good. nice to see you and then we have divideja and madhavik Kishori was there, and we don't see her now. Yeah, Hare Krishna Guruji. Uh, yeah, she Hare just, all. the little one is also uh, keeping us busy, as always. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, um, we try to uh, keep the company in some hard slam as good as possible up, because we are more or less also locked out from some hard slam official. But with a bicycle, oh. uh, easy to go there. Yeah, two times oh. the police to, to uh, check I so we have to be back. careful <laughs> and uh, uh. At the, we all as we, we are more or less try to be at home as much as possible yeah. go out and keep the little one as much as more yeah busy that she is you in, can't go yeah. to the temple right now not so often <laughs> I guess well, not. I guess not. so we is went with the bicycle and also by car, uh -huh. not allowed, just snuggled in. <laughs> <laughs> naughty, uh, <laughs> naughty, naughty. <laughs> it is, uh, is Knaus all shut down now? I mean, officially, we have now two weeks uh, holiday, but uh, in official, the version mm. is that we don't get the material at the time, of, of course, because uh, Italy is uh, shut down more or less, so we don't get the trucks up. And next week, still we, I'm home, and then on 20th we will more or less start again. And it seems to that we really can start. So, yes, huh. two weeks we have now holiday. I mean, I have enough hours. We are all okay, no problems. We have yeah. no no official coronavirus at the actually in Janusbrunn. I don't know, but on in Knaus for sure. So everything yeah. is fine. We are taking care as good as we can, and uh, the whole group is. It's fine. They need yeah. parts from good. abroad. Yes. So the parts they built in ah, yes. countries. So yes. Yeah, they're trying to negotiate to get the parts, but some time ago <laughs> Italians are not allowed and then a truck <laughs> appeared the next day from yes. Italy. So they're working on it somehow. I think it's according to the payment or the border how quick you can pass. I don't know I how don't. it works. But <laughs> now uh -huh. Tuesday he'll have to go to work for a few hours and mm. yeah, they are I still, still to trying to keep it running somehow, but yeah. yeah. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good to see you. I'm Thank seeing you very others. Much. I don't think I can I don't think I can speak with everyone individually, but I see uh Ind Indranuja there. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Is that Indranuja? And I'm forgetting your good name. Hare Krishna Maharaj. Hare Krishna Maharaj. Hare Krishna Maharaj. 
There's different sounds. Hi, Bo. Hi, Bo. Where are you? Mm -hmm. Bo? Um, I think we're here now. Yes, yes. Very good shot. I'm wondering where you are. We're in Cardiff, Wales. UK. Oh, in Cardiff. Okay. Yeah. That means you're picking up a Welsh accent. Sorry? <laughs> you must be getting a Welsh accent by living <laughs> in Cardiff. Oh, no. I don't want to do that. He's picking some up at work, actually, when he's with. Uh, Sometimes he's learning new words that have like a Welsh accent. <laughs> okay, all is well there. We couldn't hear, sorry. Couldn't hear the last. I'm just asking, asking if all is well, is everything okay? Yes, yeah, it's you. it's okay. Uh, GMI is working from home. And I'm working one week, I'm at work and two weeks I'm off, but I'm getting paid like normally, you know, like I'm working there and I'm working okay. Okay, short, shorter good. shifts, so yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Good, good. <laughs> so chant and be happy, right? <laughs> yeah, we have more time for chanting and reading and we mainly listening yes, uh, about Das Goswami's reading every day. Very good. Okay. Oh yes, Keshava Bharati Maharaj. He's always reading Bhagavatam. Is he reading Bhagavatam now? Yeah, we try to listen every day mainly. Okay, very good. <laughs> All right. And I see here's Shimantadvip and Apsarakunda, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. <laughs> good to see you. Hare Bo. Good to see you. Oh, I see Nursingadev is there also. <laughs> uh, you have you have a you have a quarantine beard. <laughs> Yeah, something like that. <laughs> uh, I'm just staying at home for uh, only one one month actually now, and I just got one beautiful oh. book to see uh, Bhagavad. You see, uh, by um, Bhagavad, Bhagavad Purana. By, yes, in one one piece, Sundarananda Prabhu just uh, got from print. It's very nice, and uh, I had I have time now for reading. <laughs> this but, is uh, a Croatian translation. Yes, yes. I, oh, okay. Just very good. It's very nice, uh, and yeah, that's it. And we are waiting for I don't know <laughs> for how long. We'll see. Yes, not none of us know. Yes, yes. <clears throat> My situation is um, like everyone else. I don't know how long I'm stuck here. Uh, there, I just today got an email from, uh, from the American government because I registered with them with uh, their system. Uh, so they sent a message that if I'm interested to get a flight from Mumbai to Atlanta in the USA sometime in the next two weeks, then I can sign up and, uh, and it may happen. But um, for two reasons, I'm, I don't think, three reasons, I don't think I'll do that. Uh, one reason is, they said it would cost but at least $2,000 and probably more <laughs> just for a one-way ticket. 
And the second reason is I have no health insurance in the USA. My health insurance covers all countries of the entire world minus USA. <laughs> because if I want to include USA, then the cost uh, becomes twice becomes twice as much. It's too expensive. And also, um, I think I'm in a much healthier situation here than if I would go to America. Uh, this farm, I think, is a very healthy, healthy place. So why not just stay here? Yeah, so we're all in this situation. We don't know how long this is going to last. Um, but it's not going to be forever. <laughs> it'll be for some time and then it'll be over and life will go on. I'm sure. Uh, things may change. Economics uh, is likely, the economic situation is likely to go uh, seriously down, they're anticipating. But all of this may also be a good thing. Um, you know, we've all been concerned that uh, we, the human species, are trashing the planet and we've been accelerating uh, climate change and destruction, uh, extin extinction of species and uh, more and more pollution. Actually, the number of people who die from air pollution, I don't know the numbers, but it's very high. Uh, so all of this is now, at least for some time, getting slowed down, it's getting reduced. So I was thinking, this is boomy, baby. Um, getting a little break. And this may be a good thing. Okay, then who else do we see? Oh, we now see... <laughs> Minakshini, Minakshi Swamini is there now. Hare Krishna. <laughs> oh, and Kish, Kishori Gunda is there. Hare <laughs> You're all outside. That's nice. King Rajbog. And, you know, Muni, there are people King Rajbog. He's in the kitchen. Munina, oh, okay. He's inside the kitchen. <laughs> okay. I believe you. I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you take a nap. We don't know. <laughs> yeah. Who knows? And I see also, nice to see you all. And you please keep well. Don't, don't catch anything. It looks like it's still cold there. Dave is always cold. <laughs> <laughs> today, is, today is a little windy, Guru Maharaj. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. We are always well, if it, <laughs> if it helps, if it helps you to feel warmer, uh, the, temp the outside temperature here right now is uh, 37 degrees. Wow. wow. <laughs> <laughs> we need some sun in here. <laughs> some sun. So, so I, if I could share some of that heat with you and yeah. reduce some of it here. You will yeah. download some of your heat. <laughs> <laughs> yes, download some heat. Maybe find the app. <laughs> Hope it's gesund, healthy. Yes, alles ganz gesund. I cannot go on Sankirtan now. No. No program. 
No program. So boring, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I guess so what to do. It means you're enough to renovate here. <laughs> I have enough to do. Oh. Hope he gives us here. Hare Krishna. Hare Bol. <laughs> She's making a quick, a, a quick appearance. Hare Bol. <laughs> She's smiling. You can say something. You're smiling. Okay, sorry. Hare Krishna. <laughs> Hare Bol. Krishna, I would like to stay longer, but I think actually I should go to the naughty children. <laughs> okay, go catch the naughty children. I only caught a part about the peacock. <laughs> oh, okay. Don't steal any grains. Don't steal any grains. Hare Krishna, Oh, Ananta Vasudeva. Oh, Mavangalatika. Everything uh, okay, nothing is changing. <laughs> We are a lot of outside and uh, we are on the field, in the forest. <laughs> ah, for you, morning. life is always the same. This morning, we just collect this asparagus and we will wow. prepare lunch. So it's a oh. very good situation for us. <laughs> yes. I think you would like it here also. Yeah, yeah maybe. <laughs> Once I will try. Yes. Go there. You will not. You will not find asparagus here, but you will find many other things. <laughs> we have a Zoom conversation with, with my Guru Maharaj. I, yeah. I I show you your book, what you give for oh. him, and he, he said, still didn't get it yet. Yes. No. No. I don't see him. He said, yeah. "How I make it?" And he put the <laughs> finger and the hand. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what to do? Okay, good to see you all. And I see Hemangi Gopi here looking very quiet. Oh, Hare Krishna Maharaj. Thank Hare you all. for your association. You also have a greetings from Nandishwar Prabhu. He actually told me to ask about you, if I have any information, where are you, how are you? And he uh -huh. sent me greetings and prayers also that you are very safe and well, well wherever you are. And he okay. gave me um, okay. service. He said, because I um, have no opportunity uh, for translation, please then call me back after Sangha and then just tell me everything what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I need that, so I have that service, and um, I would like, uh, what's going here, I'm in Slovenia, in Ljubljana, and it's like, mm -hmm. um, everybody's, um, I don't know, passing through a situation when you are foreigner, foreign residents in a foreign country, it's not really easy, it was a little bit complication, but now it's really quite okay, I'm just writing, actually my um, uh, PhD proposal was accepted, Hi. So yes, I'm very happy and I would like to send you, so if you can give some suggestion regarding that maybe and advice, it would be very helpful. And okay. yes, so many, yes, actually I have a nice association online Sangha and I'm reading, um, preparing some um, writings for my um, exam, one exam I have, I do have, and then also um, preparing for my writings of my thesis and uh, uh -huh. sometimes I'm going to the temple it's allowed to go uh, for 15 minutes to take a darshan so that's great oh. <laughs> <15 minutes. laughs> that, yes. yeah. and I'm just wondering I would like to ask you regarding your experience with promotion of your book because maybe it's good to have some idea how when's there and how what things can be also applicable here in Europe and how we can help. Oh, um, yeah, that's something maybe we can discuss separately. I, I, I have to think about it. Uh, what might be applicable? I mean, India is a very different situation with regard to the subject of my book. Here, people 
you know, very quickly relate uh, to this subject. Whereas in the West, uh, cows, you know, it's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> uh, so, I mean, while I was in Delhi, I was uh, able to meet, uh, for example, two very high uh, government officials. It was very, very simple. It was just, you know, through, through one contact, communicate our ISKCON communications person who he knows these people so he just calls them up and they say yeah come on over you know and then we had this conference well not a conference a, a presentation at the University of Punjab uh, in Chandigarh and they arranged it in a very short time it was amazing like within uh, two days or something, they had this whole thing set up. Uh, because people are enthusiastic for it. Um, the topic that I've been thinking about as sort of my general title of presentation when I do a direct presentation uh, is, I don't have the whole title in mind, the subtitle, but it, it's um, Climate Change, Cows, and Consciousness. How are these related? Climate Change, Cows, and Consciousness. How are these related? How are they, how are they related? Uh, so that's that's going to be, I think that's going to be my main presentation topic. Wow, so many important <laughs> ingredients mixed with the one. So yes, nice, really attractive sounds. But I'm just hoping that this whole virus thing settles down because until it settles down, um, it's very difficult to talk about yeah. I mean, I, I have to really rethink how to present in relation because now everyone is just thinking about one thing. Everyone's just thinking about this virus. So, yeah. you know, to come and talk about cows is like, what? <laughs> yes. Um, there is an interesting angle, uh, which is that, well, just to say meat eating, uh, is very much connected with this virus uh, because it came out of uh, the meat industry basically i mean it came from wild animals but still a lot of articles i've seen people are already writing about this that uh you know there's so many uh so many viruses so many dangerous things in the whole meat industry so, okay, that's nice, but that's not really my topic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so I'm hoping this whole thing just, you know, kind of blows over and then we can get back to uh, what I would like to talk about. I'm just thinking that maybe after all this situation, it, it could be even more relevant to talk about it. Yeah, I think it can. Uh, we can add this in. But people in the present situation, I think people are not going to be open for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, sure. Because now everyone's looking for immediate solutions, immediate uh, safety, and you know they want they want vaccines, they want hospital beds and ventilators, and they want you know all the things they're talking about on the media. So that's kind of. Uh, pushed everything else to the side. The long-term solution, we can say, you know, is, I mean, Prabhupada's whole message, uh, <laughs> Krishna consciousness, plain living, high thinking, cow protection, uh, all of these things. The, we, yes, we can say, you know, all, all of this trouble is happening uh, because material nature is biting back. 
material nature is biting back. It's not the first time material nature is biting back. There's a whole history of epidemics. And uh, as many of you know, Rajali Lavati did her doctoral thesis on uh, the so-called Spanish flu. Uh, and recently she's had um, one radio appearance and I believe also a television appearance. Suddenly everyone is uh, in Croatia. They're interested in what she knows on that subject. Oh, yes. You know, you'd think uh, this is a totally obscure uh, subject. Who cares about the Spanish virus from the early from 1918 to 19, I think it was. Well, suddenly it's very interesting because uh, it was a devastating virus. It killed uh, tens of millions of people. And they, have, they actually don't know how many. Uh, general estimate is between 50 and 100 million people were, were killed by that virus. So suddenly everyone's interested in that. But um, cows, mm, maybe not yet. <laughs> so anyway, let's hope for the best yes. for everyone. Yes, thank you so much, Maharaj. And thank all the devotees. It was very, it's very nice to hear from all devotees how they are spending time and trying to serve and trying to find Krishna in this situation. And yes, it's very amazing. Yeah. Us, chanting, everything. There's, there's definitely a bright side to all of this, especially for the devotees. But other people are also feeling there's something good about it. Yes. Thank you. Aribo, Aribo. Is that Madhyana Lila I see there? Hare Krishna. Ah, yes. It is Madhyana Lila. Hare Krishna. Oh, I don't hear you. There we are. Hare Krishna. There you are. Okay. Hare Bo. <laughs> Oops, we lost you again. Okay, meanwhile, let's see who else is here. Claudia? Uh, I don't know if I know Claudia. Claudia. I guess uh, I don't Krishna. recognize. No, I'm, yes, I'm from Slovenia. I'm from Kran. Ah, Kran yes, a, <laughs> Thank you. I'm a very good friend from Odaria Chandrika, Madiana Lila. Ah, yes. Ah. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us. Thank you. <laughs> Everything okay there? Yes, I'm in I'm in my in my saloon hair saloon because I have uh, three kids at home. So here I have oh, some. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. You're hiding from your kids. <laughs> and husband. Oh, there was the, somebody sent me a little video. Uh, mm -hmm. It was a very short video, which really made me laugh. And uh, the video was showing someone who was being informed by someone who sounds very official, uh, who is telling this person that he is going to have to go into quarantine. And there are two options, he said. Uh, the, the announcer says, you have two options, uh, A and B. So option A, he said, is to be quarantined with your wife and child for two weeks. And then the man immediately, he says, I'll take option B. <laughs> so 
before not even waiting to ask what is option B. He says, I'll take option B. <laughs> uh, anyway, that was a joke for the brahmacharis, actually. <laughs> Okay, we get some laughs from it. Um, well, all the best to you and your family. Thank you, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. And I see Ajitendra there. Hare Hare Bo. Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj. Hare 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 Bo. Hare Bo. Greetings from Istria. <laughs> Istria Yatra Kijai. Bye. <laughs> well, here is most, what is most going is agricultural work. <laughs> yes. Yeah. What? It's spring. <laughs> it's green. Everything's spring. green. Oh, yes. spring. Okay. <laughs> so it's quite peaceful there. Huh? Yes. We don't have uh, much disease going around is mm -hmm. under control so uh, recently they allow us to go from town to town uh, but we as agriculture have license to go all over Istria so oh. for yes we are oh, okay. protected. <laughs> well, they, all right that's good yes special privilege and Yes, <laughs> and uh, we have a gathering, few of us, maybe seven devotees, with uh, uh -huh. over the Zoom, reading the Bhagavatam, and we are, we will, I hope, will be uh, happy to hope uh, that Hanumat Prakash Maharaj will also join us on Monday with his lecture. Oh, oh very good. Yeah. Now I have a I have a humble request. Yes. That you learn to nobody pronounces his name properly. <laughs> his name is Hanumat Kreshaka. Hanumat Kreshaka. Kreshaka. Okay. Kreshaka. Okay. Uh, it means it mean? it's a name. It means it's a name of Lord Rama, who is the Prashika, the uh, dispatcher, the one who sends Hanuman. He is sending Hanuman to look for Sita, and therefore he uh, Rama is Hanumat Prashika. <laughs> so. I just always, uh, I'm, I'm always laughing that I hear different devotees pronounce, mispronouncing his name. He's a very tolerant person. He doesn't mind. <laughs> I think I'm the only one who minds. Anyway. Okay. So greetings to all the family and keep well. Thank you. <laughs> I think it's, uh, I'm just sort of visiting each one of you one at a time because that seems like the thing to do. Haribo. And now we see Ridayananda and Mayapur Lila. Haribo. Hare Krishna. Haribo, Haribo. <laughs> you are in Voivodina. No, not Voivodina. You're in, uh, what is it called? We, we cannot hear you. You cannot hear me? Now, yeah, now yeah, we yeah. can. Yes, yes. Without uh, uh, video, we can, we, we can hear you. Oh, okay. Uh, so you are we at are home. Locked down. Yes, yes, everyone's yes, locked, locked down. down. Welcome, welcome to the lockdown planet. Thank you. <laughs> I'm working from home. Okay, so you're able to work from home. That's good. Yes, yes. And my Purila, she cannot work because she's working from home. 
I am doing I... massage, Maharaj, so no oh. one is coming. Oh, they are I afraid. See. So no job. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. You can do a remote massage. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Actually, yes. maybe you could try it. You could try making like a, some I lessons <laughs> online for self massage. Yes, that's a good idea. Perfect. <laughs> Something like that. Nice, nice. Yeah. We have plenty of time now. So she can. Do yes. It. Yes. Okay. Um, I have a, also lots of time for reading. I went through Bhagavad Gita and the first uh, part of Chaitanya and Charitamrita. Very good. Yeah, finally, we have no excuse, right? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> And also we have a evening program together, every, every evening. Very nice, very nice. When I was... Do uh, maybe heard, huh? Do you maybe heard about earthquake in Zagreb? Oh yes, I heard about it. Um, yes, we also could feel it here. You also felt? Yes, yes. So, this is called the Hare Krishna movement. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes Praj Gopal Prabhu with some Mahaprasad from the afternoon offering, the fruit offering. Nice. Here he comes. Um, yeah, here, here we also get earthquake. What kind of? It's, it comes as just a single, very short jolt. It's just like, boom, and that's it. And this, um, this happened a few times the last few days, just once or twice a day. Um, and I asked the devotees, oh, what is this? And they said, yeah, this is earthquake prone zone, what to do? <laughs> so, yes, these are reminders that um, this is not our permanent home. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much for being with us to video. Thank you for joining. Uh, we'll, we'll think about uh, what else we can do and maybe something more regular. Uh, we'll, we'll see what we can do. And we're yes. open for suggestions also. One thing I might do um, in, uh, in China, they're asking me to do a series of uh, videos on uh, the 18 yogas of the Bhagavad Gita. So in other words, an, an overview of the Bhagavad Gita, just one chapter after another. Uh, so I'm just thinking how to multitask and maybe we can do that in a way that uh, you can also listen in. Anyway, we'll see. Yes. Okay. That's super idea. Yeah. Great. One one problem is I don't know much about the technology. What is best? They want a video. I don't know how to record video. I mean, uh, what's going to be the best way with uh, just my computer uh, screen? Anyway, we'll see. Okay. Jai Ho. Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. And we see Mani Banda all the way from Buenos Aires. Hare Krishna.
Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj. It's very nice to see you. Buenos días. Yes. Buenos. What is it? Buenos. Yeah. Buenos días. Yes, it's right. Okay. Yes, yes. It's 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 nine a.m. here now. Oh, okay. Nine a.m. there and five yes. ten here. <laughs> Everything okay there? Yes, yes. We are we are good. I'm at home with my son, with Hari, mm -hmm. and we are making quite good. You know, it's not easy to be close with a two-year-old kid 24 <laughs> hours a day. <laughs> but well. still, we are, we are fine. We, we find our time to chant Hare Krishna and, and to see Krishna's, little Krishna's, animated cartoons and oh yes you know yeah yeah keeping keeping the best as possible okay i i start to read the, Chari the chaitanya charitamrita as you told me very good and we also mm -hmm. have a kirtan program here running in facebook one mataji okay. is organizing a kirtan program uh, also ah. scaling uh, different times for different devotees uh -huh. and nothing try to keep in contact with other devotees how are you do you need something but like that yes very good okay buenos aires yatra ki jai jai and now I see in Hong Kong, is that Rajarani? Arivo, Guru Maharaj. Hari Arivo. Are you at home? <laughs> yes, I, I've been um, working from home since January. <laughs> Since January, wow. Yeah, we know about so, the epidemic at a very early age stage. So. so I think that makes you the winner. Uh, you, you get a special prize for staying at home since that time. You haven't been out at all? Um, sometimes in the weekends, go to grocery stores and something like that. Okay. No going to the temple? No, and it's pretty far away from my hometown here. So, uh, yeah. But we, we have, we do our own Tosi Puja and we, we can on the Prashadam. So, yeah, my whole yeah. family starts to do offering. Oh, including your father? Yeah. Jai. That's nice. Krishna's mercy. Yeah. <laughs> so how how much longer is this going to go in Hong Kong? Um, actually, I have no idea because my company originally announced that we should go back to office um, in April. But now the latest uh, announcement is that um, the, we have to stay working at home um, indefinitely until further notice. So, who knows? Oh, oh no. Yeah, because I was start, I was starting to think maybe from here I can come to Hong Kong, but I don't know. <laughs> if you come to Hong Kong, you have to stay fourteen days for the quarantine. In the yes, quarantine. Yes. No, I don't. I don't want to do that. <laughs> so <laughs> I'll wait. <laughs> okay. Otherwise, you're all right. Yes. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Okay, keep well. <laughs> and here we have all the way from central Mexico, Gokulananda Hari. Hare Krishna. Hare Hare Hare. Here we are in Cancun, I'm very, very happy to see you again. And yeah to meet my siblings, spiritual siblings. It's yes. a great pleasure for me. 
I am in yeah. Cancun, in Mexico, Mexico. Uh, yes. Are, uh, this is 7 a.m. now, and nearly 30 degrees. So it's hot here as always. Uh -huh. I'm <laughs> seeing the nature that is recovering. I'm happy we are locked down, but I am happy that the nature is taking a breath and yeah. recovering the oceans that here is a paradise it's mm. recovering again no tourists the, the beaches are closed joy <laughs> the, the, the people is around i mean here in mexico people is not understanding about the virus so people is just getting into the homes uh, I, um, this is my for second day that I'm locked down for 24 hours. So this Only is really second deep. day. Yes. Oh, no and kidding. people is just getting into the houses like for two weeks now. Oh. What I'm doing, I work with the tourism and as the borders are closed, we are not having any work. So we are studying how to work from home uh, how to do for, tourism from home <laughs> no not tourism but changing the the business okay. i heard this uh sister that she gave massages that she did online massage <laughs> yeah that would that would be a great idea to make some videos and sell uh, via internet yeah so i think that this is a great opportunity to to study, study the new ways to work from home. That's very important. And that will be, be happening now. And personally, I'm doing some passions. Oh yes, you've been learning harmonium. I'm learning harmonium uh, from YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> and maybe starting some online music for anyone that wants to hear me so that would be my <laughs> service and i'm translating your uh, note fields to spanish i'm a little oh. late i think i missed it the 11 and 12 but i'm going to be on that <clears throat> field but notes yeah the field notes to yes. spanish, okay. spanish so that's okay everything thank you for that, that. <laughs> you're welcome <laughs> Okay, so all the best to you and your family is in Argentina, I think. Right? I got some family in Argentina and my kids are here in Mexico. Oh, your, your kids are here, okay. Mm -hmm. They're Mexicans. Yeah. So all the best for you. Thank you. Thank I you. think, uh, I don't know how many more of you are here that I'm not saying hello to. I want to sort of say hello to everyone. And on the other side, I don't want to keep you too long. Um, but I'm, I'm happy to see you. I'm seeing uh, Mahananda Ladini. I'm seeing Saragrahi Vaishnavi in Florida. I'm seeing uh, Sitarani is here. Haribo Sitarani. <laughs> oh, and Haribo. even... Haribo Kunumalash. Hare Krishna. <laughs> You're at home? Yes, just uh, <laughs> came back from temple. Uh, oh, so you're going mm -hmm. to the temple? Yeah, five to six days per week. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that's good. So you get some some association. Yes. <laughs> okay. Greetings to all the devotees you meet in the temple. Thank you. I will pass me. to them. Thank you. Yeah. And yes, I'm I'm uh, I'm missing Hong Kong. Yes, I'm <laughs> also thinking you can come to Hong Kong from India uh, for two weeks. For two weeks. Huh? <laughs> come, I can come for two weeks and be in, in quarantine for two weeks, huh? Yeah, in temple. 
Uh, <laughs> Welcome. Idea. <laughs> but thank you. But at this point, I can't even leave India, even if I want to. Yes, yes. <laughs> Okay, everything in course of time. Patience yeah. is a virtue of the mm -hmm. Vaishnavas. Utsaha nischaya dhyayat tat tat karma pravartana. Okay. Hong Kong yatra ki jai. Jai. And who is this Kanai? Kanai Gopal. Ah. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Nice to meet you, Maharaj. You, you can hear jai, me? Jai. Yes, I can hear you. You are on the farm? No, you are near the farm. Um, one and a half kilometer. And um, yeah, we, we, we're hearing also the, uh, the, the motion on. <laughs> Acha? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so you're at least that close. Okay. We have to stay at home, but um, uh, it's also uh, a nice time for family. Arjuna, yes. in the moment, we was in the, in the other room, and then we're going out, having Japa walk together. And um, uh -huh. yeah, it, for us, it's very nice to have family concentration and uh, uh -huh. uh, yeah, this stuff, uh, reading books, uh, uh, looking movies, um, this, uh, <laughs> this uh, new movie uh, on the weekend is finally uh, on YouTube, uh, Prabhupada, this uh, Hare Krishna. Um, yes. Movie, yeah. um, um, yes, that will be an inspiration for everyone. Yes, this I um, Yes, I wanted to also mention to everyone, uh, if you get a chance, please also uh, get a copy of uh, Shama Sundar Prabhu's book or books. It's two volumes now. It's going to be three. He's already written a third volume, um, Chasing Rhinos with the Swami. Uh, you get a very sort of uh, close-up view of uh, Srila Prabhupada from Shama Sundar, who was with Srila Prabhupada very much of the time in uh, the early 70s. And uh, what comes through, especially um, Shama Sundar is, is giving this amazing picture of how incredibly energetic Srila Prabhupada was and how uh, Prabhupada's spirit of adventure uh, was always prominent. It was always for, foremost. It was a, it was an adventure. Spreading Christian consciousness was always an exciting adventure. Uh, so I recommend that book if you can get copy at some point somehow. I was just going to say hello to Robert, and he's just gone away with some wood that he's been cutting. All right, maybe we'll get back. And there's Dira Lalita, Hare Krishna. Uh, oh, we don't hear you. I apologize. Hare Krishna, good morning. Now we hear you. Hare Bo. Hare Krishna. Nice to see you. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Everything's okay in bushy. Oh, very quiet. In bushy, bushy land. Yeah. Very quiet. Um, <laughs> in touch with some devotees on the phone. Almost first uh -huh. thing in the morning. Um, uh -huh. I usually get the uh, darshan of Shishirada Gokulananda on my phone from Pajaris and uh -huh. the devotees in the ashram are doing all the Pajari service themselves and then they post it on WhatsApp. Uh -huh. So uh, that's, my, that's, my, that's my first little service is send this to um, all the other devotees who are not on the Pajari WhatsApp. 
Uh -huh. Well, that's good. Keeping connected. Um, it's okay now. Um, I was asking, maybe you can't hear me now. No, I guess the connection is not so good. Okay. I can hear you, Guru Maharaj. Oh, I was just asking if Dom Sevan uh, is okay now. Uh, he, he, he has recovered, uh, but still at home. Uh -huh. And his, his, yeah. his wife was looking after him, but then she caught it of him. And right. They are, they, they, they are much better now. They're much better now. Okay. Still, still at home. Um, and yeah. last week he said that he sleeps for about 10 hours a day. It's, yeah. that, it's that exhausting. Yeah. Some of the devotees are ill, like Nila Madhava Pujari and Malini Nitai, Lalita Saki. They've been struggling now for uh, three weeks with high wow. temperature. <laughs> and, but, uh, um, they, they say they're recovering. Okay. Yeah. Well, That's good. All the best for them. Thank yes. you. Thank you all for that. Thank you all. Thank you all. And um, let's see. There is, uh, I'm forgetting the name here that I'm seeing. And I see Bhavada's name, and I see Surya Kanya's name, and I see Pandava and Shravana Ramaniya. Most have turned off their videos. Okay. Amelia, Katyayani, Malati Mala is there, and Nadia Nimai. Let's see if they are also connected. Um, here, Tita Jivani is here, Avadita Rai, Madhavananda, uh, Kalyana Giriraj, Rasadari Hari, Divya Prabhanda, and Mariana Purushottama from Argentina. Maria, not sure, Varanga, Markandeya Rishi, Bharat Varsha, uh, Maria, oh, from Finland. <laughs> uh, Hare Krishna Maharaj. Hare Krishna, who is this? Hare Krishna Maharaj, Guru Maharaj, Surya Kanya. Who is this? Oh. And Avadutanitai. Oh, nice to hear you. I don't <laughs> nice see you, but I hear you. You not see us, Maharaj. Everything okay? Yeah, everything mm, is nice. We're doing the no? gardening. Yes, we are doing it in the garden. We are outside now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, uh, and um, also here in Croatia at the beginning uh, when this uh, COVID has come, also um, uh, Maharaj Chandra Mauli Swami has come and he will be, he, he, he has been here with us uh, for 14 days. Uh -huh. um, and nice, and uh, so we have Very a good, good association in quarantine. Oh, that's very nice. So he is he is quarantined in Croatia. So yes, yes. Now, now he he went uh, to temple in the Croatia. Uh -huh. Okay. You see us now, right. Maharaj. No, I don't. I'm oh. seeing Tira uh, Lalita. <laughs> 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 uh, 
uh, I hope, uh, hope, uh, I hope we will see you uh, soon. Yes, in, I uh, hope so. Also, yes. Actually, my plan was I was going to go to uh, Ukraine, and then um, after about ten days in Ukraine, I was going to come to Slovenia. Um, then Krishna had another plan. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> yeah. So if uh, this will end soon, you will uh, come come to Slovenia, or you will uh, see how. I have to see. Everything is up in the air now. There's no way of. There's really no way of planning because uh, there's too many, too many uncertainties. Mm. Yes. Yes. Even even if, for example, even if uh, Slovenia would say, "Okay, the uh, the lockdown is over," uh, but they might uh, still not allow. It could be that they would not allow foreigners into the country, for example. Mm. Yeah. Uh, the actually the the best place I can come back into Europe at this point is probably Poland because I have uh, official residency in Poland. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it yes. may be, it may be that I would first go there, but I just don't know yet. We're coming to Poland, but... Maharaj. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much, Maharaj, yes. for a nice lecture and this. And every day is be lecture in the same time or? Oh no, we're not planning that yet. Uh, we will oh. see. We have, I have to think what, we, what will be practical. Uh -huh. um, okay. This time I didn't really give any lecture. I just told about what's happening here and, you know, looking uh -huh. to see okay. how okay. you all are doing. Um, but um, yeah, next time we can maybe do some reading, some discussion. Nice, Maharaj. Thank you. Thank you so much, Maharaj. Thank you for your association. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Jai. Jai. Uh, Jai. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare now I see Anulakshita for a moment. Hide non video participants. That's not in the chat. Let's see, what is this? I'm just learning how to use this uh, unpinned video. Uh, Guru Maharaj, you can choose the gallery view or speaker view on the right top corner so you can see all of the participants and you can scroll left and right with the arrows at the left and right of the screen. So you can. I see the left and right arrows and I've been using that. Oh, I see. Gallery view. Uh, that's what I have now. And then enter full screen. That's okay. But um, so I I I, I see Analachita here, and I wanted to click to get her full screen, but then that's no longer possible. It, it was uh, yeah. possible because it's only speaker view. The, the person who is talking. He's on a full screen. It's like a speaker view option. So right. Either gallery view or speaker view. Yeah. Let's see if Anulachita wants to speak. In which case, you have to turn on your speaker, Anulachita. Uh, oh, oh. My computer is complaining now that it's getting too hot. So I'm a little worried. I don't want my computer to break down. Uh, so I'm going to, I think I'm going to close off now. This is a bit of a challenge here because of the heat. Uh, the weather is, as I said, 37 degrees. Uh, so my computer feels it. <laughs> anyway, we've been on now for two hours. So that was pretty good. And I'm impressed. Uh, Zoom does seem to work 
much better than Adobe Connect as far as uh, even with slow internet connection. So that's good to know. Okay, so um, I will say Hadi Bol for now. And thank you all for coming together. For me, this is a big inspiration. I was, um, yeah, even though there are lots of devotees here, I was feeling a little lonely. <laughs> um, devotees here are very nice. They're all very sweet, but they're all Hindi speaking. And I'm not much of a Hindi speaker. <laughs> I'm, I would like to learn some more, but uh, at my age, it's not so easy. Okay, so thank you all very much. And I will say chant, keep chanting, keep, uh, keep uh, worshiping the Lord, Lord Jagannath especially. Uh, keep safe and keep happy and keep shravanam, kirtanam going. Okay? Thank you all very much. And go pray anande. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you so much, Udara Chandrika. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hare Krishna. 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 Thank you so much. Hare Krishna. See you all later. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. See you all. Missing you all. <laughs> Thank you for arranging this beautiful meeting. Thank you for coming. Hare <laughs> Krishna. I, I think more than us, Maharaj was really very, very happy actually. Yes. <laughs> he did say that he was feeling a bit lonely. Now he was really feeling good. Thank you so much. Thank you. Almost 90 devotees were, were in uh, 90 devotees. Yes. 90 devotees yes. were in yes. the super. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Great. <laughs> <laughs> to Lord Narsinha Deva, please, Narsinha Deva. Pujaris. Mama <laughs> It's 40 degrees here. Granddaughter, yeah. Nidavana. Nandimoki. Chui, oh, Gasat's the Caste of Gasas, the crack of the Vesa, Nemo Setenicus Potomati, or a cry of a hand. Nemo Gemonico Distana. 
Moraš imati dozvolu. Moramo dozvolu imati da je odemo do dućana. Moraš na internetu zatražiti dozvolu da se može do dućana. A dobro, i taj cirkul se protivno. Ma da. Pa i tak se ne ide nikude. Imamo dostupe da voze sve doma ako treba. A još od rani, Mateđi. Hvala Krišna. Hvala Krišna. Hvala Krišna. Dobro je, dobro je. Drago mi je da vas vidim. I nama. Tu je, evo, svaki dan se teže prepoznamo na ogledalu. Želimo vas sve najbolje. Evo, s njima. Hvala. Idemo ručati sad. Super, super, i mi smo gledni. Hvala Krišna. 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 Hvala Krišno. That it is organized today, otherwise it was not working. At least a few days ago, this conference, so that's great. Are my guests, that's the glory, right? It was because of the Guru Maharaj's connection was in that part, that time of a day in India was yeah. pretty packed and it was not well, so... Bavada Prabhu! Thank you very much, Prabhu and Mataji. Thank you very much, Prabhu and Mataji. Thank you very much, Prabhu and Mataji. The translation, I... Yeah, it was nice. I was doing it live on Facebook. It was a broadcast. During the same time, it was a little bit... Difficult to see and to hear you all at once and translate, but uh, I will see or I will view it later on and I will let 